days Prepare to fight, I'll leash your rage Whoa, 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 whoa The day of overgrown has come Whoa, 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 whoa Come on, the journey has begun Let us in our way This is David Rosen from Wolfire Games. In this video, I'll demonstrate Overgrowth 1.0. There's a lot to talk about, like the new story following Turner as he fights to free rabbits from slavery. Or the built-in modding tools that you can access at any time to change existing levels, add new features, or even make total conversions. But I'd like to focus on combat, because it's the heart of the game that everything else is built around. In Overgrowth, you perform strikes by holding down the mouse button, and choose between them based on movement controls. That sounds simple, but that's where the AI comes in. Enemies can predict when you're planning to attack, and can turn it against you. They keep track of your patterns, so if you keep doing the same things, they'll get better at countering them. And that's just the most basic possible scenario. More often there's weapons involved, or multiple characters, or environmental hazards, or all of those at once. Now it might sound too hard, but fortunately, if you're defeated, there's never any kind of loading screen. You can leap right back in and try a new strategy. The whole point of the game is to have fun choreographing intense fight scenes, and using the mouse look camera to watch from your favorite angle. I really hope you enjoy it. As you can see, Overgrowth has come a long way since we started working on it, and it wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you for your support and encouragement throughout the development process. Now just because we've reached 1.0 doesn't mean we're going to stop working on it, so please let us know at bugs at wolfire.com if you have any problems or suggestions. Our plan is to keep polishing the game for a while, especially regarding bugs, performance, and compatibility, and look into options for what to do next. That's it for this video. If you'd like to hear about Wolfire news as soon as it happens, you can follow us on Twitter at Wolfire.